the patience element is, I think, particularly poignant when you see things like uh, celebrity six month body transformation or something. Mm -hmm. And um, how I think you reference this in your profile, I believe, about the fact that it takes a long time to go from uh, it's like the before and after picture. It does take a while. So have you got any thoughts around the topic of um, those celebrity body transformations that are not very not very likely if you're doing it in a natural way yeah i think that it's easy to get tempted by the celebrity transformations and these really impressive and sensationalized timelines of like you know and that's the thing this is what i was reading at the time you know on the front it was mainly like men's fitness magazines when i was first discovering this information a few websites here and there social media really wasn't a thing that much i don't know when it was it was a solid 15 years ago so social media really didn't have the same level of information that it has today so it was all six weeks to abs and all this type of stuff and trust me i felt like those things you know a lot of my first workouts <laughs> were probably things that i grabbed from there and i was definitely engaged and invested in the same way that anyone would be today but i think that sometimes like, you don't want to defeat yourself but almost if it's too good to be true it's probably too good to be true and i think that it's mainly not about leaning towards the celebrity or even in my case maybe like the professional athlete because their lifestyles are going to look very very different to yours and the accessibility to plastic surgery uh, chefs in their houses, you know, a personal trainer who spends the majority of their day with them is very different to your lifestyle when, you know, maybe, you know, as a kid, I was only in school, so it wasn't too much of a, a big deal. I could invest as much time as I wanted to. But if you're 20, 30, 40, 50 years old, you've got a job, you've got kids, you've got responsibilities. So, you know, not probably going to be able to achieve the same results. So I think, again, you know, that patience piece, it's not the sexiest work in the world. It really isn't. But it's really worth recognizing that these things, especially when things that you want to stick over a long period of time, they do take time. And I like to think of the health and fitness transition as not just getting to your result, but kind of keeping your result. And for me, that requires like a shift in lifestyle, to be completely honest. The thing with your health and fitness is it, it's not really owned. It's only kind of rented. And you have to pay that rent in the form of eating good foods training on a regular basis or exercising on a regular basis, you know, looking after your sleep and your hydration. Because if you don't kind of pay the bills from that perspective, it starts to catch up with you again. And obviously, if you put in a lot of investment in the early stages, kind of like I did, I got obsessed with it, which was great for my career and great for the time of my life. I'm a little bit more well-balanced now comparatively. But that helps me out now. You know, I can be a little bit more relaxed because I had all those years where I was very, very obsessed. I was doing five or six sessions per week. But most people won't have gone through that. So it's a case of just recognizing that, okay, you're making a big transition to your lifestyle here. And you might get your result in a short period of time. But if you want to maintain those results for a long period of time, which I think all of us truly do want to, then it's going to take some time. And, you know, the you know, the headline story is probably not going to be the thing that ultimately allows you to maintain that result. It might help you get to that result. But again, they're trying to sell you something here. They're trying to sell you a story. They're trying to sell you a product or something along those lines. And usually the best intentions aren't hidden within. So I would try and gather as much information as you can. And, you know, also speak to someone who doesn't have any benefit from your journey going any faster than it actually needs to go. And then usually you're going to find a more realistic time frame and approach that works for you, especially if you've gone through many times before where you've tried and failed these things. Like, it's nothing to do with you. It's probably everything to do with the approach. Of course, take a little bit of responsibility. But if you find that you're going for these really short-term quick fixes all the time and nothing seems to be sticking or you end up back at square one, you know, one year later, there's probably an indication that that's not the right thing for you to be doing on a long-term basis.